Amanda, some of the Harford officers not authorized to speak on camera say they've never seen anything like this before. They are being stretched beyond their limits and sometimes getting met with resistance as they're trying to implement this crowd control. We've heard about bottles, both plastic and glass being thrown at them, even a propane tank tossed toward the officers out of a second floor window. Now, some residents say they're exhausted as well. Others tell us the majority of these crowds are harmless. The chaos, the drag racing, motorcycles. People don't have consideration. They need to just be a little more considerate. Pictures of Harvard South End on weekends in and around Franklin Street and Weathersfield Avenue. Pockets of people, car caravans, and illegal dirt bikes provided to Fox 61 News by Harvard Police, including for last weekend's Puerto Rican Day Parade. Oh, it's too much party, you know. Yeah, beers, you know, uh, something problems. Saturday, I couldn't even get home because there was cops everywhere blocking the streets because the riot, not a riot, but the chaos. Last Sunday, police captain blasting out this email asking anyone available to come in regardless of rank and assignment because, quote, your brothers need help. Maria says she spends all her time in the neighborhood. They just party until 3, 4, or 5 o'clock in the morning. People got to work. Some officers off camera describing never seeing anything like this in their entire careers, while others, including Franklin Street barber Edwin Castaner Sanchez and client Anselmo Acevedo, aren't bothered by the crowds and people socializing and having fun, they say. It ain't going to stop. We, the people, we don't have where to go. Wherever we are in a big space, you're going to see a lot of Spanish people. And that's what's happening on Weathersfield and Franklin. People are not getting killed over here. They're not getting hurt. Uh, police try to control, and then some. if one, one or two got out of control, well, it's, it's very sorry that that happens. But that will happen in big gatherings of Spanish communities where the government has no control. Josh Mictum is a Hartford City Councilman. The, the food truck ordinance that council uh, passed Monday starts from the idea that the food trucks are the source of the um, ruckus on the streets and that if we just get rid of the food trucks we will get rid of the ruckus and I just don't think that's true. Now, we did ask to speak with Hartford Police on camera. They responded in part with a statement from Hartford Police Chief Jason Thody reading, quote, our police department will continue to take actions like closing streets, working with state partners to close highway exits, enforce motor vehicle laws in partnership with the DMV and other steps to prevent this kind of serious disruption. Our city council also took action to limit late night food truck activity, which we've found attracts these very large disruptive crowds very late into the night. Our message to residents is that we're going to do whatever it takes to protect your quality of life and our message to those disrespecting our community and causing this chaos is that we are going to make it as inconvenient as possible to do so. We've also asked Harper Police how many arrests have stemmed from all of this. We'll uh, let you know when we hear back. Reporting in Hartford tonight, I'm Jill Kanopka, Fox 61 News. Back to you. Jill, thanks.